Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today chemistry lesson is about alcohol and carboxylic acid. Before I proceed further, please subscribe to Jum Study Law channel because in this channel we provide many free lectures. Without further ado, let's look into our study outline. Our study outline comprises of alcohols and carboxylic acids, oxidation of ethanol, potassium manganese 7, the manufacture of ethanol, comparing manufacture method, carboxylic acid, reaction of ethanol acids, esters, and finally, esterification making of esters. Let's look into alcohol and carboxylic acids. Alcohol contain OH in functional group. Ethanol is used as a solvent and as a fuel. It can also use as a fuel cause on its own or mixed with petrol. Let's look into alcohol structures. Methanol consists of one carbon and then linked to OH and surrounded by 3,4 hydrogen. Ethanol consists of two carbon and linked to OH and also comprises of six hydrogen. And butanol having four carbon OH and surrounded by H. Let's look into oxidation of ethanol. Oxidation with potassium manganese 7. Alcohols are oxidized to carboxylic acid by heating with acidified potassium manganese 7. And a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst are needed to get the best conditions for oxidation. The heating is done under reflux and this involves heating the reactants with condenser attached vertically to reaction flask, and this will prevent the volatile alcohol from escaping. The oxidation of ethanol acid using potassium manganese 7 KMnO4 can be seen as this chemical reaction below CH3, CH2OH plus 2O to form CH3, COOH plus H2O. O in this case is represent the oxidation agent of KMnO4. H plus is actually represent the acid catalyst and in the reactions, the purple manganese 7 ions are converted to colorless Mn2 plus ions by reducing agent ethanol. Oxidation by fermentation Ethanol can be oxidized to ethanol acid by atmospheric oxygen and this is speeded up by fermentation. During fermentation, enzyme in bacteria or yeast catalyze the oxidation of organic substances. Let's look into the manufacture of ethanol. Alcohol reacts with carboxylic acid to produce ester. Esters very, esterification reaction is when alcohol is reacted with carboxylic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid, a compound is formed and this compound has sweet smell which is called ester. And the manufacture of internal can be in a form of hydration or fermentation. Let's look into the process of hydration. Hydration is addition reaction in which water is combined with another compound and pure ethanol produced by reacting steam with ethane. So from this we can see from the chemical reactions ethane C2H4 and mixed with H2O which is steam to form ethanol C2H3OH. So this is an addition of reaction and it is called hydration reaction because water is added. The condition for reactions are catalyst of concentrated phosphoric acid 
at the temperature of 330 of Celsius and at the pressure of 6 to 70 atmosphere. Let's look into the process of fermentation. Fermentation is the breakdown of organic substances by microorganisms with effervescence and breaking down of sugar by enzyme in yeast in the absence of oxygen to form ethanol. Most plant materials can be fermented, but fermentation is most rapid when simple sugars such as glucose or sucrose are added. Fermentation is used to make al alcoholic drinks, and the main alcohol drink is ethanol. The conditions needed for fermentation are temperature between 15 to 35 Celsius, too low temperature or slow down rate of enzyme catalyzed reaction, and too high denature the enzyme. Absence of oxygen during alcoholic fermentation anaerobic. If oxygen allow, bacteria may grow and as a result, it might spoil alcoholic fermentation, which is to produce acid. So reaction mixture near pH 2, too acidic and alkaline will slow down rate of enzyme, catalyst reaction. And presence of water due to yeast in a living organism, so water is needed to survive. And let's look into the comparing between manufacture method. We have the fermentation and the hydration, which is addition of steam to ethene. Let's look and go through about the fermentation. In terms of the fermentation, it is very simple equipment required, and it only uses renewable reactor like sugar from plant, and it works at room temperature and atmospheric pressure, so energy requirement is very low. And catalyst does not have to be manufactured. Enzyme is in this and only damage if internal concentration is too high. And for the fermentation, it uses a batch process, and you have to start again from the beginning after fermentation mixture is removed. And impure ethanol produced, the ethanol has to be purified by distillation. And in terms of the reaction, fermentation is very slow. The reaction has low atom, economy carbon dioxide, and side product produced as well as ethanol. And finally, in terms of the fermentation, carbon dioxide produced is a greenhouse gas. Let's look into hydration. Hydration is a complex pressure vessels required, and it is uses non-renewable reactant, which is ethane from cracking petroleum fractions. And for the hydration, it requires high temperature and pressure, so energy requirement is high. Catalyst has to be produced and to be clean. And in terms of the hydration, it uses continuous process. Ethanol can be removed continuously, and ethene and steam fit into the reactor continuously. And it's pure ethanol produced. And in terms of the process, it is a very fast reaction. The reaction has high atom, Economy only ethanol produce. There are no waste product which has to be done. And no greenhouse gas produced, although pollutants are produced as a result of the burning of fossil fuels to maintain high temperature and pressure. Let's look into carboxylic acid. What is the features of the carboxylic acid? Carboxylic acid contain COOH functional group. This is, has been taught in the previous chapter. And carboxylic acid is a colorless acid, a colorless liquid, which have typical acidic properties. And example, it will turn blue, litmus paper red, and form salt called ethanoids. So let's look into this structure. So this is a sample of um, methanol acid where in this structure, for the methanol acid consists of COOH and with another one, hydrogen. And for the ethanol acid, also consists of COOH. And this is actually, this portion is represent the carboxylic acid. Okay, where it consists of COOH in their functional group. And finally, it's a propanyl acid. Propanyl acid consists of three carbon, and this is a combination of COOH 
and surrounded by H. Let's look into the tips about carboxylic acid. When writing formula and naming carboxylic acid, remember to count the carbon atom in the COOH group. Example, CH3, CH2, COOH is propanoic acid and not ethanol acid. So this is already has been taught in the previous lecture. Let's look into the reaction of ethanol acid with metal, which means that reaction of ethanol acid with metal and aqua solution of ethanol acid react with metals to form salt and hydrogen. So this is the chemical equation where you have ethanol acid plus with magnesium ethanoid magnesium and to form magnesium ethanoid plus hydrogen okay and then when a reaction of ethanol acid with the hydroxide and a solution of ethanoid acid react with hydroxide you can see from this chemical equation of reactive metals to form salt and water which is potassium ethanoid is a salt and h2o is a water this is a neutralization of reaction. Let's look into reaction of ethanol acid with carbonate. So an aqua solution of ethanol acid will react with carbonates from this equation to form salt, water, and carbon dioxide. So in this form, salt is referring to potassium ethanoid, C2CH3COOK. And this is a neutralization reaction. And let's look into the reaction of ethanol acid with... Uh, this is actually the explanation about why ethanol acid or ethanol as a weak acid. Because ethanol acid is a very typical weak acid and partly this associate in a solution. And more molecules of unionized acid present than uh, iron. An equilibrium between molecules and ionized acid and their ion. And when concentration acid equal, what will happen? Ethanol acid higher pH than hydrochloric acid. And react slowly with metals, metal carbonate, metal oxide, then hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid. And finally, they do not conduct electricity for ethanol as well as hydrochloric because ethanol acid has lower concentration of Hydrogen plus iron. Finally, let's look into the esters. Ester is a substance with the general formula RCOOR. It's formed by reaction between carboxylic acid and alcohol. Esters are made by the reaction of alcohol and carboxylic acid. The function group in the ester is RCOOR. R can be either hydrogen or alkene, A-L-K-Y-L, group methyl, ethyl, and etc. And R can be alkyl group but not hydrogen. Easter are named after the acid from which they are made. The O-A-T-E part of the name comes last and name of the alcohol prefix comes first. Example, H-C-O-O-C-3-H2 is methyl butanoid. So you can see when the butanoid acid mixed with methanol and it becomes methyl butanoid. An example to HCOOC3H2 is a propyl methanoid. And where you have the chemical reactions between methanoid acid plus propanol, propanol so it will form propyl methanoid and then finally we have ethyl ethanoid where ethanoid acid mixed with ethanol it will form ethyl ethanoid and finally this is the function group you can see ethyl ethanoid and this is for methyl butanoid esterifications which is making ester Esterification is the reaction between a carboxylic acid and alcohol to form ester and water. Esters are synthesized by warning alcohol 
with carboxylic acid. And this is called esterification reaction. And a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid is needed to catalyze the reaction. And you can see from this is ethanol acid mixed with methanol to form methyl ethanol and hydrogen. And if large amount of ester are required, the mixture is refused gently to prevent loss of volatile compounds. And after warming, the reaction mixture is pure is poured into a dilute solution of sodium carbonate. This will react with excess acid so that we can smell the typical sweet smell of ester. With that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your study. And wish you all the best in your study. Last but not least, please subscribe to Jom Stadila YouTube channel and follow me at Jom Stadila Instagram. You can get customized note by assessing the beacon page via Instagram link. Thank you very much.